Well. NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei wrapping up 355 days in space. Vandehei saying farewell to Tom Marshburn, the new commander of the station. Again, uh, Expedition 66 will become Expedition 67 at the time of undocking to allow the Soyuz to drop out of orbit for the start of its entry back into the Earth's atmosphere. A number of spacewalks in the months ahead to continue outfitting the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module and the European robotic arm that is part of the uh, Naoka module. Stand by for the SSVP mode complete flag. Undocking confirmed. A uh, close-up view of the Soyuz MS-19 looking right at the uh, docking mechanism that uh, held the Soyuz in place to the Rosviet module. Thrusters firing on the uh, Soyuz vehicle as it continues to back away from the International Space Station. And there's our uh, Soyuz MS-19 under the orange and white parachute less than eight minutes before touchdown. We should uh, see the horizon uh, momentarily. There's one of the Russian Mi-8 helicopters as we stand by for touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown confirmed at 6.28 a.m. Central Time, 7.28 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.28 p.m. at the landing site. Mark Vandehei and Pyotr Dubrov back home one year after leaving the planet. And we're back uh, with live video from the landing site. Uh, Anton Shkaplerov, the Soyuz commander, out of the spacecraft. Great air. Uh, no dust. And NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei now out of the Soyuz spacecraft. A little more than uh, 30 minutes after the Soyuz landed uh, on the steppe of Kazakhstan, right on target. The three crew members are out, enjoying uh, the smell of fresh air.